Howdy guys, Meyer Power Driven Diesel here. Today I want to show you guys how to install one of our six pinion rollerized planetary assemblies into your 47 internals or 40, factory 48 internals. As you can see here, we got our six pinion planets. We got our front and our rear, as well as all the bearings and shims you're going to need to set this thing up. So here's our factory planetary assembly. We're going to go ahead and take this guy apart. There we go. We're going to save that snap ring. We're going to take out the planets. We got our front planet here. We're going to put this off to the side. We will save this little washer deal. Put that off to the side. That'll be a part of our core. As well as this washer. We can throw that out. And then this will again be part of the core. You got a thrust washer in here. Throw it to the side. Your sun shell here. We're going to need that. So put that with over there. Again, thrust washer. Throw it to the side. Your rear planetary assembly. That's going to be part of your core. And then on the back here, you have this shim. If you're, you have a lot of wear somewhere in your planetary assembly, you may need this just to help take up some of that play. So don't quite throw it out, but there's a very good chance we won't need it. And then this guy here, probably want to weld this. As you can see, we've done that already. Go ahead and just reuse this guy here. Now for assembly, with being rollerized, I do like to do this a little bit backwards. It just makes it a little bit easier. What we're going to do is we're going to start off by grabbing one of these bearings, the blue side up. You're going to put that guy in there. It just kind of pops in. Grab your ring gear slide over the top for this you'll want the blue side down you want that to be in that pocket just like that make sure it's fully seated we're gonna grab our sun shell put it on just like that and then we're gonna take a bearing cup side goes up put our rear planet on there put a new bearing in cup side goes down just like that rear ring gear on there and then we can take the uh, intermediate here and just kind of slide it down in. Now, looking on here, this is mo most of the time this will be the case. You can see that snap ring isn't even close to being able to fit in there. So we gotta swap out the star washer on the sun shell for the one provided. So go ahead and take this, put it to the side, take this guy off. You can see there's that washer right there. So to start off, we gotta remove this little wire snap ring in here. It can be a little bit of a pain. Easy way, just kind of get your pick underneath it. Yank it out like that. And you're going to remove this washer and you're going to replace it with this washer. However, it needs to be on the other side of the sun shell. So lift the sun shell, put that guy in there. Snap it back down. go there just like that okay now without that washer in there that should give us a lot more clearance in the front so slap that back down put this guy on there like that put the snap ring on Okay, so that snap ring fits no problem. It's probably a little on the loose side, so let's double check our clearance. So grab yourself some feeler gauges. We're gonna start with a five. I'm just gonna try to push that guy in there. So that guy's not going in, so this would send. I generally like to make them a little bit tighter so we can just kind of try to do that. And you can see that, let me let it go in. So let's try a little bit tighter. So we have, we can try an eight. That, that went in no problem. You can try a 10. And you can see I'm just barely tapping here. You're not trying to bang it because you can get a lot in if you bang it. So that 10 barely wants to go in. So I'm going to say a 10 is a little too stiff. So we're going to end up going with a seven and a half thousandths shim. So you can see here we have a couple shim options. Um, we have two five thousandths and two seven and a half thousandths. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead, pull the snap ring back off. There we go. We're going to pull sun shell up. Take our bearing out, take the seven and a half thousand shim, put it down in there, 
Put the bearing on top. This would be a great time to make sure everything's lubed because this will be final assembly. So make sure all your bushings and bearings and stuff are lubed up. You can dip your bearings in ATF and then just put some assembly lube on the And that, you can see that barely wants to go in there. Sometimes what you can do, if it's a little on the tight side, grab your original planet, just like that. And go ahead and just tap it. And that seats that snap ring perfectly. We can use our snap ring pliers. Make sure that's fully seated. And there you go. That is a rollerized planetary.